Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. Before the video begins, this video is sponsored by Puzzles and Survival. Uh, if you can help me out, obviously I've mentioned that these sponsorships have actually been a really big game changer. I'd really appreciate it. But what I thought I would do different this time is I've explained how to do some of these sponsorships, but I've not shown you exactly what to do. Um, and that might put some people off if you're just kind of like, hopefully if you're just told, this is how you can help do this. Firstly, obviously download the game. You can scan the QR code there or be the link in the description. If you're on an iPhone like I am, there's a known bug that it doesn't really like Safari. Um, so I downloaded it via Google Chrome and then it was completely fine. But basically, to help, I'm expecting people, if you want to help, only to complete the first two challenges, which is that one, reach level five of the headquarters and rally an attack on a lair. And what I'm going to do is basically show you what that means. So when you get into the game and you finish the tutorial, this is your headquarters. If you look over here now, click the building. And when you click upgrade, I'm level six at the moment. And to get to level seven, it wants me to have a rider camp at level six and a shooter camp at level six. And then I'd be able to, uh, to, to do it. So to do this, basically do the requirements to level it until level five, and then you'll hit that goal. And for example, how do you do it? If you just click go next to one of them, it'll basically take you to the place where you either build that building, if you don't have it, or to upgrade it to basically hit the requirements. So that's very simple. That one takes 25 minutes, 30 minutes, roughly. Now, the other one is the one that people have struggled with. Obviously, this is very similar to the ant game that we did a few weeks ago. Basically, you need to be part of an alliance. This is my alliance. So we, it's the Huzzy Plebs. If you want to search for that one, I will be accepting people. So for example, I'll be accepting you exactly like this. When you are in an alliance, it doesn't have to be my one. You can join any random one. All you have to do, once you have a, a certain building, which I think is called like Hall of War or something, it'll tell you basically to do it. In the bottom left, you click World. And when you're in the world, all you've got to do is go to, let's say, this zombie lair, and in the bottom right, click Rally and Attack. That is it. That's how you do it. You don't actually have to be successful. You just have to Rally and Attack. And we did also find out joining an attack doesn't count. You yourself have to click that Rally Attack button and basically start a rally. That's how you count. So if you could do both of them, I'd massively appreciate it. It really shouldn't be any longer than an hour of your time. As a little bit of an advice that I will say, oh, there you go. Oh, it's 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 not happy. Um, well, okay, we'll just get rid of that. But anyway, basically, um, if my little tip for you is if you're not looking to play this game in the long term, you get free gems, for, which is the paid currency just for playing the beginning of the game use that to speed it up a little bit and stuff like that that's what i would say but anyway if you can help out would really appreciate it. it it makes the difference again just just worth knowing to say at the end of this little message i'm never really going to do two of these a month this is the first time i've ever done two of these a month and basically the reason why i like to be open and honest is the twitch income which is my main income nowadays is very low this month because when you come to the twitch channel and you see oh my god Huzz is on 1700 subs people haven't and done subscriptions or gifted subs or anything because they go oh he has is fine yeah the problem is they happened at the end of june and they're about to run out in about three four days time and that basically means we haven't really had any subs this entire month we've kind of maintained about 500 550 subs and that's obviously very low last month we were on 500 subs but we were at that point because everyone knew the subathon was coming so i'm hoping you know this second second sponsorship will help out a little bit but I'm hoping after people see the drop, people go, oh, snap, let's help us up, get back to a thousand or something. Um, but yeah, but anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much and enjoy the video. Peace. Hey guys, so here bringing you another video and oh my God, League of Smurfs. Um, there's a lot of Smurfs in this game. So me, Smurf, 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 maybe, well, a high win rate and Smurf. We could literally start a Smurf village, man. I'm Papa, Papa, Papa Smurf. Dibs. Dibs. All right, question of the day. Controversial topic, so I want to see many discussion about it. What is your proper opinion about smurfing? Should it be allowed? Should it be banned? What should Riot do about it? Um, yeah. What's your opinion? Do you think Riot should, you know, 
sell accounts officially but it's linked to all of your accounts so if one is toxic then they all get punished would that be a better way of dealing with it what is your opinion why are you guys even fighting see my opinion roughly i would say is i've played many many video games several to competitive you're never going to get rid of smurfing like unless you do like a south korea that every account has to be linked to a social security number and even that's not perfect um yeah you're never going to get rid of it so i if anything i think riot should more like lean into it and basically i think riot should sell official smurf accounts that start at level 30 and maybe you only unlock the ability to buy one if you get one account to level 250 or something you know but they're all then linked together so if you're toxic in one then you're punished in all of them i think something of that nature oh i wasn't expecting that to be around okay Why are you doing that, Miss Fish? Never gonna get that kill. I'm in my element, fighting evil. That was weird. I don't know why Nami did that. Not every fight has to be for a kill, by the way. Sometimes it's all about pressure. That fight, we could have just maintained absolute lane pressure by keeping them really low. And keeping our summoners. Like you see, I didn't use my summoners. I, I want to keep those because those equal pressure. But she'll likely have heal now. Really try and make her miss her. Oh no, she didn't. She took Q. Eason is their jungler. Could get early gank. Not out of the realm of possibility. Could do. Need to dodge those because that's how Soraka is going to get her health back. I think Lee could come very soon. Sorry, if Kane came at the right time, this could be like a big old fight. Passive. There's the Lee. Oh, that flash. No one actually dying. <laughs> we baited. Oh no. The goat. The goat's getting a triple kill. That was so close. I didn't flash in time, unfortunately. But it's better Soraka gets the death than or the kill. I don't. I, I think I was gonna probably die anyway. Oh look, it's Bruce Banner. Turn into the Hulk. Turn into the Hulk. Quick, quick. Wow. He used Ghost and still died. That's one of those like if you're gonna use it, just use it straight away to survive. I still don't really know why we're against a Yasuo bot lane as well. Oh, we need another gank. Why is my Nami just walking in? Dude, what are you doing? You literally just entered. What? Like, hello? He literally just walked straight into a Yasuo and just died. And obviously, I know we're in low ranking, so I'm not expecting wonders, but still. 
not expecting teammates just to walk into stuff. Yeah, the Nami's one of the non Smurfs. I think, hilariously, I think it's actually both support players. Yeah, both support players are definitely non Smurfs. I don't think the set is one either. This is not in a good lane position for us right now. No, I need to hit that bubble. God damn it. See, this is an easy video title. Full caps, Riot re-implemented Smurf Q question mark. That's a good title. I'm really bad at titling, man. It's probably my biggest weakness with being a content creator. I'm so bad at it. I wish I was good at it. Oh, God. I try. I try. Uh, we need to push this and then go back. It's problem with Ezreal. Like, again, I play Ezreal just to say. Like, this what I think is my first Ezreal game of the series. Do I recommend people playing Ezreal? Hell no, I don't. So, I've always said in the way that I describe Ezreal, he's so fun to play and he's very satisfying to play. But, in essence, to make Ezreal work, compared to another AD carry or hell, even Yasuo, you have to play so much better than them. You need to hit every skill shot. You need to hit every good dodge with your E. You need to basically near enough, like, if 100% is, like, Super Saiyan, you're playing perfect. Ezreal, you need to average playing 90% your best to be the equivalent of most AD carries playing 60% their best. That's the point. That's the problem with Ezreal. He's not forgiving or anything. Army might be going mid. Seraphiel. You can always just bait Yasuo's. So I kind of stood there and took the damage to literally just get him into the tower. Most of Yasuo's, again, Smurf, not Smurf. They're all practically the same. They hear the, the anime protagonist music in their head. Go, 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 no, no, And then they just die. That's a good bubble. He's, overplay he's overplaying. And to be fair, we played that well, but he's, he's overplaying himself now. He's being annoyed. I'm hearing the anime music. <laughs> Presumably everybody knows the anime music I'm singing, right? I'd be shocked if people didn't know. Well done. I cancelled my own base. Budge. How did I even... Did I cancel my own base by like, not being in range of that ward? Is that what just happened? I think that's just literally what happened. Oops. Whoa. bubble oh. 
Rock her out. Did she heal as well? Like, summon a heal? I don't know, maybe. Uh, no. Just to, again, how you keep thinking of it. If she used summon a heal, there would be a debuff here. There's no debuff. Mr. Cassante. Wow, completed item, no item. Cassante still wins. Interesting. Where's mid? And I've said it sometimes, man. When you have a, a roam from a teammate or a gank... But, like, realistically, that brand should have just gone back. It literally gets you killed. He uh, he got killed there because Soraka came mid. And you're like, what? Yeah. If Soraka didn't come mid, brand would have been like, ah, I'm so low, I'm just going to go back. But he only stayed because Soraka went mid. It puts, like, false confidence in people. Yasuo is, uh... Mm. He's going to be very easy to bait throughout this whole game because his, ho his whole thing is, I'm going in right now! People can play Cassante in this ELO. Uh, I don't think Cassante is hard. be at least in bot lane soon because obviously in, a kick into gives him instant yasuo we've not died you know we've only died once so i think this yasuo is going to be a bit he does the same move every single time it's the same combo he doesn't adjust it he goes in and instantly does the same Do it. yeah 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 Dude, he's so easy to bait. You just can let him hit you and he'll go in 100% of the time. People, I think, sometimes realize. Sometimes you want to let... When you when someone's playing Yasuo in a certain way, basically letting them hit you to basically bait themselves in for death, people don't really think about it. Oh, I thought he was like low, he's not. Why is the Silas blaming the jungler when the Silas is just losing solo? Is it the jungler? True. Junglers are the punching bags of League of Legends. <clears throat> Leeson might be on that. For Leeson, he's not been very in it, like, I don't know, tempo, 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 at least not in bot lane. Normally, obviously, Leeson's go crazy the early because they fall off, but this one just hasn't really been. And he might just be a mid lane a few times, so I've just not seen him in bot lane, but yeah, they're doing that. The wind wall really early. Silas is struggling big time. I think, well, to be fair, I think Silas is a lot of the time are so used to like easily beating people that when they actually get beat, they just don't know really what to do. And they're like, wait, I should just automatically beat people. What's going on? 
Oh, I thought my bubble hit. How's he going? And look how Soraka is like so forgiving. You literally, they lose a fight, get really low, and guess what? Yasuo's back to full health. That's not annoying at all. Yeah, Yasuo shouldn't have gotten on that fight. But this guy just, he's completely autopilot of like, he, this is his play style. It's the only thing he knows what to do. As I said, a lot of Yasuo's are kind of similar to that. The really good ones, which I would say are rare. That's the point. The really good Yasuo's don't. They are very rare. Rampage. Even in like high high what the heck? Set TP. The problem that we're getting is we're only getting a gank for every five minutes on average. So Yasso just always has his flashback. If you're only ganking every five minutes, then he's just going to flash every time you look for a gank. Uh, they changed Warmogs. It's the exact same in every area apart from one. The activation point got delayed by 200 health, so support now won't be able to buy Warmogs and basically instantly activate it. So... If you want to get Warmogs, which I think it's still a good item for supports, but I think it'll be a second item now, not a primary rush. Silas. He's trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If I bait him? He didn't ult. He actually restrained himself. Oh. <laughs> They've got so much survivability, it's insane. Oh, good bubble. my mind then was like could i redirect this to mid lane and break over the mid lane tower but i don't think i would have gotten there may as well go for this kind of wish i had that as solo gold though that would have been really good for me yeah lee sin's falling off surprise surprise who predicted that everybody That's a power spike. We've got mirror mana and it's complete. His damage is low. Last time I was in Shurima, I decoded. Hi, Shurima. They were. Oh, burden. Don't make me put my goggles on. I'm trying to break it. Ow. Oh, damn it, man. Or you really want to kill. His aim just there told me everything of he wants me. Get away from my fish. My fish. My fish is better than bacon. This guy is so easy to bait at the entire game. This Yasuo's the same. Yasuo is just doing the same thing all the time. You need to change it up, my friend. Should 
could just go do dragon to be fair you're playing with fire why like you're not doing that well mr silas you're not that fed to do that kind of play Baby Amadillos. I love that voice line. I don't know why. <laughs> I always just find it really funny. Baby Amadillos. Oh, good snipe. Yasso TP behind. Oh. <sighs> You can use Windwall really early. I smell barbecue. Bro, why do I smell barbecue? It's like midday on a Monday. Oh. I've not had food yet today. Again, I mentioned it a couple times, but my tummy was a bit dodgy this morning. So I kind of want to get through my stream today to not add more food in because then it could come out not the way I want it to. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll eat after my stream. Brandon game? Oh, God. Dude, that is the most passive build I've ever seen. Like, what the heck? Baby Amadillos. <laughs> it's such a good voice line. <laughs> it's the best voice line in League. I love it. I like Armadillos to be. Oh. Was that worth it, Mr. Set? Wait, what? You just flashed. I smell barbecue. Why is Yasuo trying to split push? I might need to look up this Yasuo account because again, it's some type of Smurf. But as I've always said, like a Smurf, one of the things that I think people don't really understand. Just because someone is technically a Smurf, not all Smurfs are equal. I'm technically not a master smurf right now because my main account's only D1. But like, I'm a diamond one smurf, and obviously in percentages, that's incredibly, incredibly low. Most players are... Uh, yeah, most players, obviously, when the top 1% of players are D1 or whatever, yeah, most smurfs are not D1 or more. The average smurf, I'd say, in gold is hilariously only one rank above what they're smurfing at. But he's proper going on the heart armadillos this game, isn't he? Yeah, we've got our strider's Ezreal. I like this champion. But again, as I said, you have to play really well to make it worth it. Otherwise, it's just play, a, just play an AD carry that just right clicks. That's the point. It's a lot easier to play an AD carry that just right clicks. It's definitely bugged. I have never heard him say this line so much. He's just on repeat. I don't know what triggers it, but like, I thought it was just one of his movement. I thought it was just one of his movement, um, like clicks that can just trigger it. Why is it called a smurf? Uh, there's all different, like, potential reasons why um there was an old rumor a long 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 time ago but it's never been proven true that there was a, a dota oh no a dota a um a starcraft pro that went by the name smurf or something like that that was always a rumor but i don't think it ever got confirmed that's true Oh, you just ace them without Silas. No escape. Yeah, GG. We kind 
to stop this Yasuo. There we go. So I like Ezreal, but the thing is, I don't recommend playing him. That's the thing. I don't recommend playing Ezreal because he's so fun, but in order to do as good as other AD carries, you have to play so much better. And like, you know, when you get to the rank you're happy with, play Ezreal, go for it, because you're at your rank you're happy with. But if you want to just climb, yeah, I, I can't say, oh yeah, you should definitely play. You should definitely play Ezreal. He's fantastic. No, like, he's just not that type. Anyway, whoa, 40 LP gain. Wow, Buffett. The MMR on this account is good. We go 916. We do the highest damage in the game at 29,000. The closest to me was the Cassante of all people. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't. It was the Brand at 28.5. So the Brand did high damage. Brand does very high damage, obviously, with, you know, all of its burns. And that Brand's build was also quite bad. So he could have done a lot more damage than that, too. If the Brand just went with a standard build, with a bit more confidence, he would have done a lot more damage. Um, but, yeah, we do more than double damage the Yasuo. Like... <laughs> playing what i would also say is playing yasso bot lane arguably not really worth doing when you're not in a duo situation so it's worth knowing four of the smurfs this game were duo queue with each other like not with each other but the brand and the lee sin a duo smurf was duo queue and the cassante and kane were duo queue smurfs too so i and silas were solo queue smurfs and the uh, the yasuo was also a solo queue smurf too doesn't play any Yasuo. He is an AD carry player, but he doesn't play Yasuo. So it's a bit weird that he randomly pulled it out. Um, Smolder is his main with only a 50% win rate and Corky with 85%. But yeah, weird. But yeah, at least we got to play an AD carry game, so I'm happy. All right, what we're hoping for for the dice this game, though, we're hoping for a three. I want to play a mid lane game. So just reminding, whenever we roll on the dice, one is top. 2 is jungle, 3 is mid, 4 is AD carry, 5 is support, and 6 is actually queuing as fill, which basically means jungle, from what I've seen so far. Support. <sighs> Havika. Havika just cursed me, I think. <laughs> I want to play mid lane! Uh, but anyway, we'll be playing a support next game. So again, I am, by the way, doing a, an experiment with this week. Support games and views and videos on average, I think, do worse than carry rolls, which isn't surprising. I'm not actively going to be queuing as support at all as my primary role on the Huzzy or the Mundo's Nurse account this whole week. Obviously, I've got to queue as support during the Phil 2 series if we roll support. But this week, I'm not going to be prioritizing support on any accounts, but I have to play it on the Phil series if we roll for it. But uh, anyway, hopefully you guys still enjoyed be playing support next game. We'll obviously try to do maybe a carry support of uh, of some nature. But uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. Eternal